Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. You're welcome to Healing Glow. Today is August the 7th, year 2021. It's a Saturday and it is time for us to pray for the children. Glory to God. For every parent here, every parent to be, every guardian of a child, every lover of children, I'm praying for you that the Lord God will perfect all that concern you that the lord god will give you wisdom and the wherewithal to take care of the children in your care in the name of the lord jesus i'm praying that for every parent the joy of parenting will not elude you that which you need to parent these children afresh beyond your expectation beyond your imagination be made available to you as and when due in jesus mighty name amen and amen you're welcome to this prayer session today every day counts every minute counts so we're going to do what we ought to do um there is this prayer that we used to pray for especially on birthdays and teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom these are the times that we must pray that prayer like never before i mean for every single one of us as we get nearer nearer to the end um it is essential for us to make the best of every single minute i mean every single second there's no time to waste. Hallelujah. Let us pray for our children. Today, I'm led in this direction. We'll be praying for help and favor over our children. And our anchor scripture is from the book of Esther. Esther chapter 2. I'll be bringing out about three different um, um, references from Esther chapter 2. You know the story of Esther. You know how that God had ordained, that we preordained that she will be a savior of her people. And you know, you can't put God in a box. The way God went about it, um, nobody saw it coming. <laughs> Hallelujah. So for our children, God has plans for them. God has purposes for them. Before they were formed in, the, in our wombs, God knew them and already ordained them for certain assignments. And I'm praying for you as a parent that you will allow your children to fulfill God's plan and purpose for their lives. They're not here to fulfill your plan, your purpose, but God's plan and God's purpose. So as we pray for them, that they will walk in God's purpose for their lives, uh, we should also pray for ourselves that we will not de be the one debarring them from walking in God's plan and purpose for their lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I take the first reading from Esther chapter 2 and uh, verse 9. Let me first take verse 9. This was after that they have assigned the, uh, the young maidens to go into a uh, beautification process and all that before they will appear before the king. Verse 9 says, And the maiden pleased Haggai and obtained his favor. And he speedily gave her the things for her purification and her portion of food and the seven chosen maids to be given her from the king's palace. And he removed her and her maids to the best apartment in the harem. Glory to God. A whole lot of things playing out there. Yes, Esther was well cultured as we train our children. They are cultured, they are respectful, you know, they are courteous and all that. But because of the divine mandate upon this lady's head, she pleased the man in charge. She pleased the man in charge. Now, it is okay to be pleasant, but haven't you seen people who are pleasant, who are nice, who are respectful, and yet they don't get what they ought to get? Aha. So we are going to be praying that the Lord God will cause our children to obtain favor. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus in every sphere of their lives, especially as they move towards the fulfillment of God's plan and purpose for their lives. Wherever they get to, whoever is in charge, whoever needs to release anything to them, they release it to them with ease in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let us pray. Mention the names of your children and pray for them as individuals. Father, I thank you for my son. I thank you because it is well with him wherever he appears. Thank you because you cause him to find favor. He will obtain Holy help in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for my daughter, oh Lord God Jehovah, the same way you went ahead of Esther and ensured that she was taken care of, that she enjoyed favor and right and early help. Let that be the portion of my daughter. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I'm praying for every child associated, connected, related to us in truth, in love, indeed. In this commission that they will enjoy help they will enjoy favor mariga zotobre libra la hazatalia mariko je gede broso to libra lia vazata for those who are studying abroad where there's no family per se lord we thank you for favors we thank you for help for those going into new territories we thank you for help that has been ordained for them because it locates them and they enjoy the favors that comes with the help in in the name of the Lord Jesus, wherever our children appear, the favor of God, the favor of man, we locate them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. One more thing here. You know that um, Esther was actually an orphan and Mordecai was his adopted um, father. Okay. Now, I wanted to see this from two sides. One, as Mordecai being Esther's parent and then being his and um, being her adopted parent. That whatever, whenever, wherever our children need parenting, we might not be there. Where we come from in Africa, they say that it's it, it's only one person that gives birth to a child, but it takes a village to raise a child. In other words, you will need at times people to parent you when your biological parents are not there. So that you need an adoptive parent or a biological parent. It could be in the in, in, in form of in-laws and all that. Let us pray for our children that they will never lack parenting as and when needed. I know what I'm talking about. Please pray with your heart. Bible says in Esther 2 11, and Mordecai walked every day before the court of the women's house. To know how Esther did and what should become of her. He was paying oversight function over her. Our children, we need this in several areas. Oh, Lembra Gazota, Libra Gazaka, Tate Tebro Shoto, Libra Gazata. We release our sons, our daughters, in the name of the Lord Jesus, to always be in the hands of right parents. Oh, Ikampo, Lakata, Liga Doria. Some will come in the form of caregivers, some will come in the form of teachers, some will come in the form of friends, senior friends, some will come in the form of um, mentors, some will come in, come in form of, you know, um, maybe senior colleagues at work, um, faculty deans in, in school and all that. Father, in the name of Jesus, people that you have ordained on their path and people that they need on their path part-time, whether we are there physically or not, may they never lack that one that will pay a parental oversight function, seeing to it that it is well with them. May they never lack such in the name of Jesus. Maleta porigaba zotolika Yagida Oribosute Tete Te Ah Maleka Riga Zatalia. Thank you, everlasting Father, for always protecting and providing parenting for our children as and when due in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. And one more prayer point. Hallelujah. Um, you know, there was this story in the scriptures where the devil was contending for the body of Moses, or was it Joshua? The high priest Joshua, and then there, there was there was a, a dirt, a, a cloak of dirt, a dirty cloak on him that had to be removed. Glory to God. And we're gonna be praying right now, prophesying into your children's lives that the Lord rebuke the devil over them in the name of Jesus.